Hi, and welcome. You're watching Mike and D versus the world. I'm D. I'm Mike. And today I want to talk about um, daytime television, I guess would be the best way to classify it. Uh, but not just daytime television, not just, you know, your This Morning's with Philip Schofield and, and, and that woman. And the woman, yeah. Or, or the breakfast, you know, BBC breakfast, yeah. or that sort of stuff, yeah? Yeah, not, not that. None, no. none of those. None of those particular shows. There's another show um, that's a bit, uh, not sort of thing you admit that you watch, but it's kind of like, like a, that bargain hunt, no, you know, no. like where they'll go around to like different farms and um, houses <laughs> no, and, find, no, no. and find like little ivory chess of cats that uh, they can sell. No. I wish it, I wish it was Mike, but it's not. It's um, it's the other one. It's the it's the talk show. <laughs> okay, hosted by the man, that man, that guy. No, no, the guy go on. Jeremy Kyle Show, Mike. The, what? The Jeremy Kyle Show. Okay. Do you watch the Jeremy Kyle Show? No. No? No one watched it. Not, not a fan? I'm definitely not a fan. <laughs> and, um, I've never watched... Wait, if I watch... Sat down and indulged. Been a little bit I've, dirty. I've been sitting down. You know, steeped what? to that level. Wallowed <laughs> in the filth, Mike. We're still talking about TV, yeah? <laughs> I'm watching it. Or are we talking about... Watching something else. Watching a spectacle, dirty. I think, is the closest thing I can kind of... Okay, a spectacle. No, well, I have not indulged. I've been in a room yeah. where Jeremy Carl has been on, all right? Right. And I've seen what has transpired on the screen. <laughs> well, this is the problem. For a number of seconds. It wasn't... I mean, it wasn't my, my highest moment, my highest point, I must admit. I did sit there and watched it. Got well, intrigued, whole, Mike. Whole, whole episode. Yes, a whole episode. Um... But it wasn't. It wasn't just you know a matter of turning on Jeremy Carl okay. show. Uh, they got me with the with the headline with the the banner. The headline. Like, yeah, it was like. Was it? Chicken stole my sausage. What, what was it? <laughs> no, 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 no. It was actually. Um, I think my gay son is sleeping with my wife. So that's what it was. You know, already your mind's boggling. You're trying to completely like a see I your face, Mark. You want to. Yeah. You want answers. It doesn't make me want to be dirty. Or maybe not yet, but not yet. Once you there's more. Once you've gone on the journey, Mike. Come okay, to that so room. that's how they got you. So you're sitting in your yeah. house, you're eating your watsits at, at nine o'clock <laughs> in the morning. I wasn't eating all right. watsits, but all right. yeah. The point is, Sh- cheddar biscuits. It wasn't all right. Why does it have to be such I, there were, I low know, there market? Why Could cheesy be... puffs? <laughs> Whatever they were, <laughs> right? You're sitting... <laughs> cheesy puffs. What is that? No. All right. No. Okay. You were eating some sort of. Um, I wasn't eating. I doesn't. I, I wasn't eating it. it was didn't, a, you didn't have breakfast, so you got up in the morning and went just straight ran to straight to the television. <laughs> Jeremy, that's Carl. the type of man you are. Yeah, yeah? it's like Sesame modern Street. Day, right? Modern day man. That's yeah? what I did with my day. Forget me, ready, Brett. <laughs> <All right>. Yes. <laughs> Screw that, mum. Oh. All right. Don't just, want that. Yeah. I want Jeremy Carr. Want Jeremy He's all the Jeremy. nourishment I need for my mind and body. Is that what you said? Don't even sound like that, Mike. That's not all, right. Voice. all right. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Anyway, the point was, I mean, after I finished watching it, I felt a little bit, you know, a little bit dirty. It felt like I'd become part of the spectacle, you know? And okay. it got me thinking. It was, you know, what we class as entertainment. What is, uh, what what do we find interesting? This was whole it entertainment? You know, like they mix education with we, educa- I don't well, think, edu- I don't, learn. I didn't feel educated afterwards. You didn't feel like <laughs> I you learned. I learned something about myself. Yes. yes. <laughs> but I, I didn't want to admit. you intrigued by, um, the these trials people. and tribulations of lesser folk, shall we say. Lesser with, folk. That's with, not judgment. It's not, but, you know, <laughs> they're, that's they're fine. in a, they're in a position where they need Jeremy Kyle's help. I think they're, they Is can he be helping them? Does he help him? I mean, I don't, I don't I, watch it, so I, I don't know. There's, so. there's a conclusion in it. There's a conclusion. Yeah. Right. Uh, whether or not it is helps he them. Concluding? Does he, he conclude their lives? <laughs> <laughs> in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Does um, it? Is it, is it final? It's, well, you know what it is? It reminds me of, I mean, like, all right. The other day I saw a grown man in a telephone box smoking crack. Uh, and it's the sort of thing I'd expect to see. Yeah. In a telefo- telephone box. I was- think I was there. I saw that. Yeah. Yes. You remember the guy? I don't know why. I forgot it. I it was, but, you know. Maybe you've just been desensitized, Mike. You've seen it all the I've time. I've seen it all the time. To me, it was, it was like, you know, 
been in that you know that scene in Batman when they're going to Gotham City and you got the out of town as uh, well big Gotham City man look yeah. there's a guy oh, yeah. with a you were that box. guy yeah. I was that guy I was you that know what's funny about water. that guy with the who was smoking crack yeah. um, for those that know how to smoke it I'm not going to tell you because <laughs> well, I don't know either but it's not you he was them. using a Red Bull can which <laughs> you would have thought there was enough stimulate in in that can anyway no but apparently obviously, not greedy crackheads never that's enough what, that's what crack does it's it makes just, you greedy you know there's Insatiable. an addiction there you can't get yeah. past the but crack. we digress yeah um, but the point was you know it was kind of like the spectacle and I was trying to where's the line Mike I mean if you saw not someone smoking Kyle. Crack, well, yeah, I mean, you've got your Jeremy Carl show. Now, if you strip away, you know, Jeremy Carl and your studio with your lights and your cameras and your bloodthirsty audience who want more, you know, and you're just essentially left with two potentially mentally challenged people fighting over a carrot. Now, if you were to see that, Mike, if you were to see a spectacle, I mean, if it was maybe not the carrot or it was a... Depends. A, a, a man smoking crack in a telephone box... Would you intervene, Mike? Would you? I wouldn't intervene. Would you do the Jeremy Carl thing? Would you get in there and say, listen, if it's, you've got to sort if, your life out? Well, yeah. I mean, if it's a guy smoking yeah. crap by himself, I'm not going to tell him to sort his life out. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like he's already doing a good enough he's job He's got his himself. life where he wants it. Yeah. Right. That's <laughs> he's it. trying to do something about it. <laughs> it's Things making are moves. not good. You know? And that's what he's doing. No, so, seriously. But yeah. if it was like to, um, I guess, our version of Yokel's fighting <laughs> over a carrot, <laughs> yes. I would be tempted to be throwing money at them for it to continue. <laughs> However, it, it, I probably wouldn't do that well, this because is that might just fuel it even more. This is the where, yeah. where, where's the line? When does it stop being entertainment and start being you know a, a, a spectacle that we should really so, be trying to do something about? Are you saying you know? it's it's not just the audience that are on the TV show? It's us, the it's audience, the, that the are creating the problem. Well, this is it. I mean, I guess our hunger for it creates a need, and obviously Jeremy Carl's going to feel that need, and. Then the whole cycle perpetuates He's itself. He's filling the need. He's filling the need. So was he fulfilling your needs that morning? Well, I don't know. It was a need I didn't know I had, Mike. It was weird. It was well, like... He knew it was there. He knew. And he filled it. He, t- he filt it, Mike. He filled it up. Right up. Yeah. And I was filled yeah. to the brim. Yeah. Was you spent after that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious. I felt, I felt, I felt like he used Kleenex. I like, used Kleenex. Yeah. I, didn't, I wasn't happy with what I saw in the mirror after that. Um, no. Okay. So, I mean, I guess my point is... He'd rung you out like a flannel. All right, I think okay. we can finish just, with the analogies. Right, okay. Just say yeah. it. Right. <laughs> but the point is, I'm like, where's the, where's the line, Mike? I mean, look, would you would you would you go to a Jeremy Carl show? Would you go there I don't in the hopes to... of trying to change these people's lives? Would you try and? No, I don't think anyone goes to Jeremy Carl to change anyone's <laughs> lives. So what do you think they're there for? I think like? that you, you know what I see that that's exactly the same thing as like you know like. About 2,000 years ago, when <laughs> they were like having gladiators, right? <laughs> yeah. And they'd have, like, and they wouldn't have just see a normal storm gladiator. They'd have one, and they'd have, have like one foot or something. And they'd have them in there with like some lions. They'd chain him to. And you see people, ah, yeah. Die. <laughs> it's yeah, that's it. what they're doing. Chain him to a tiger and just. Jeremy Carl show, it. that's exactly the same thing now. Yeah. We paid for blood. That yeah. kind of. If you watch the Jeremy Carl show, and let's say we're on the Jeremy Carl show and we're friends, we've had beef. Yeah, somehow I've mentioned then, lure you onto the Jeremy Carl show and you yeah, haven't suspected right, yeah. anything. Well, we're not us, we're, we're different people, you know. <laughs> we're, we're those kind of people. We're, the, we're those kind of people. Those <laughs> We live in the hills, do we? We do, yeah. <laughs> you know, we're Fight over carrots. We're our, we're our parents are also cousins and, and <laughs> brother, sister, and maybe, um, all, yeah, most of aunts our, and uncles. Yeah. All rolled 70% into one of person. our family is one person. Yeah. <laughs> so what you're saying. And a pet. All right. So anyway, if we went on to that show and yeah. we had an issue, we were fighting over that carrot. Yeah. All right. And um, you was like, no, that's my carrot. No, that's my carrot. <laughs> yeah. And then we said, I'll tell you, why don't we just share the carrot? And yeah. Like, and they were like, yeah. yeah. And then that was the end. Who would watch it? No I one guess, would care. I guess people don't want it to be resolved no one so wants easily. To be, yeah. Yeah. They want to blood. They want blood. They, they want, want to be, they want, they want the conflict. Yeah. I mean, that's it's it just is. like all those other shows, you know, you are not the father. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's what they and want. Then, to hear. Ooh, and yeah. all that, uh, all this exactly. participation. That was, yeah. yeah. So I guess it says a lot more about us. Uh, is that what you're trying to say? I think so. I think we're, we're the problem. We are the problem. I think that's, if it wasn't for people like, I'm ashamed to say me and the rest of, you know, the crowd. Those, those people. Those people. I mean, you sure you never watched it, Mike? I've never watched. Never. You're aware of the show, though. The what show? The, 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 the Jeremy Carl show. You're aware. You're aware. 
The, the, the oh, Jeremy really? Vine show. Nope, Jeremy Kyle. You know the Co- show. The talk Carl McLaughlin. You seem to know a lot before he was describing. Carl McLaughlin. Nope. Guy was in Neighbours. Nope, not that guy. No. <laughs> that Carl McC- That's Craig McLaughlin, actually. <laughs> yes. Well done. Craig McLaughlin. <laughs> uh, that is <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Do you know the guy who played Paul in Neighbours? I'm just out of curiosity. You know I do, Mike. Why are you just, asking? I'm just saying. <laughs> just Stefan anyway. Dennis. Are yes. you happy now? Yes, I just wanted you, you to happy? Hit, hit, Just wanted you to say you had name. a hit in the eighties. Yeah, gonna mind. make you feel good. Go, see, ah, you're just as bad. You knew the Doesn't song. I'd rather left a mark. I'd have more it respect. Left a stain you just in my mind. <laughs> It's like a glitch in the matrix that just keeps on playing. It's like the black cat. Anyway, oh. we digress. Yes. Yeah, so I think the problem is, well, I think we can agree. The problem is us as an audience watching these types of shows. And do you think if we stopped watching it, they would stop putting these shows on? Or do you think they'd just keep they'd pumping keep them out? feeding us. They'd keep forcing us to watch it. I um, think... They'd well, stop putting sure on quality programming. Us. I think it's a, it's a two-way street, all right? On one hand, we could have the power to stop... Jeremy Kyle. <laughs> we, he can be stopped. He has a weakness. We can stop him. <laughs> well, this world we'll takeover. Seriously, people, we need to do something. All right? Because it will never end. No. All right? No, but I mean, it's seriously. It's like the wolf man. It, we could stop it by, yeah. you know, not indulging and, you know, ratings would drop. Yeah. And then they'll say, Jeremy, sorry, we've got to bring you in your office, mate. It's, it's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. Time's up. Right? You've had your good. You've had your run. You could do that. Yeah. Or... Then there's the other side of it, is that they do pump this stuff out. And because we're so mindless and disempowered to even think that we can change anything, we don't. We, we we're, don't. We're, we're, we're British just, people. We, we just, don't. just lap mustn't, it up. Yeah. Like, mustn't grumble. Mustn't just, grumble. Let's just, let it let's just see our cheesy puffs. <laughs> all right. And, yeah, uh, our cheesy puffs. It's cheesy puffs. And, <laughs> Yeah, all right. Ignore the ready I'll brick. The ready brick right. and cheese. And things. I'll just sit there and watch it. Yeah, you know, I do judge these people, but I find myself strangely attracted to their plight. To try their plight, their misery, yeah, their downfall. So, their, you know, it's, it's position it's entertainment they find now, their lives. That's what's classed as entertainment. Yeah. Their lives is like watching Tom, Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the equivalent. A, it's the equivalent of watching, you know, um, I don't know. Not slanding or dynasty, you know, we don't want fake storylines, we want real storylines, although we'll probably never ever meet these people, and we don't really care what happens once we change don't the channel. Don't want to meet them either, really. No, we've seen enough, quite so, frankly. So, to sum this up, are we saying that maybe he's not the problem, maybe we need to look at our own values? I Is think, that what you're saying? I think that's it. I think, uh, the guy in the phone booth smoking the crack, he's not the problem, I'm the problem. You know, you're not part it. of. For watch it exactly. You know, part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Right. So he who does nothing is the guilty, guilty of, of perpetrating and perpetuating the problem. The problem. So yeah. what you should have done is snatch that can from that. Run guy in there in the and said, grab that don't crackhead. Use that. Grab his crack. All right. Take it away from him. That's mu- that's rubbish. It's that rubbish. is. Yeah. Throw yeah. it away in front of his crack face. Yeah. Yeah. And then say, um, you're welcome. You're welcome. And change your life from this point onwards. There you go. And uh, I think that would... Don't take crack. No. Drink Boost or any other <laughs> yes. available stimulant drink there you for go. 39 pence. That's, that's, I'm sure. That's and legal. it'll be cheaper than crack. There you go. And less destructive to the community. Uh, so... He would have been on his way to business school, Mike. He would have and been. I think that's it. That's it. So, Probably let this be a lesson. Crack, but, you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> learn how to sell, how to diversify his brand. Um, but yeah... So I think uh, I think that 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 teaches us a lot about who we are. Um, I mean, that's just my point of view. Uh, if you don't agree with us or agree with me, then you can always leave your comments uh, down there, or, well, or Twitter, email us. Email us. You also, can't actually leave your comments there. Down there. Yeah. Underneath there, that vast part of the internet. There. Oh, look at that. Ads, Mike. There's ads, ads there, man. Yeah. Pop-ups. Loads Pop-ups. of pop-ups. Yeah. Yeah. So, All right. But yeah, the email address is mikeandy41 at gmail.com. Just so, in case you can't read. We take it from everybody. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> it's fair. But you can hear. It will be here. All right. So, um, so, yeah. So that being said, I guess that's my, I guess, insight or rant, whichever way you want to put it. Um, so, I guess until next time, I'm D. 
And I'm Mike, and I hope you've enjoyed that. We've covered Jeremy Carl, crack, yes. and all types of stuff today. So, so thanks. We'll be, we'll be out. Yeah. See you next time.